What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys... Today, we got some market talk as per usual. I think you guys knew it was coming, but bro, the market is rising like crazy. But before we get into this video, please make sure to drop the like, drop that sub, and please make sure to go follow my Twitter down below. We're doing giveaways on there. 120 likes for some empty giveaways on Xbox, some PSN codes, and all that good stuff. Bro. We got a lot to talk about, and before we get in this video, we're gonna run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And, bro, right now, I'm so confused. The market crashed for like an hour and just rose, like, instantly went up so much i mean like i'm kind of confused i really think i know what happened so this is what i think happened so first off i this is my team before we get into it i want to show you my team what i picked up during this whole market crash and everything and uh yeah i'm kind of broke but no worries i have a lot i have a lot of stuff to sell i took advantage thursday night when they released Giannis was coming out the market crashed like crazy and that's pretty much what I picked up my whole team. Okay, I got Zion for the low, Bosch for the low. Got my whole entire team for the low. If you guys did too, you're going to make tons, tons, and tons of MT. So, whatever. I think I came to the conclusion. Every single person, or at least 50% of the community, or maybe, maybe even more than 50% of the community, 50% of the community sold their whole entire team last night in panic. And what that caused is market inflation rising the market like crazy. If you remember last night was LeBron around. LeBron was around 230k. He's at 350. And honestly, his price went up because the point guard Giannis. People didn't realize how good this card really is and how he can cover point guard Giannis. In my opinion, for the $700,000 difference, Giannis just sold for a mil. Like I literally just saw it on Twitter. He sold for a mil. I just put it up on Twitter. He's not 850k. He's probably going to go down to like 700, 600. But uh, this card is so good. I think the only card I could stop it is LeBron. I versed LeBron and Magic in my Giannis gameplay. If you didn't see that, go check it out. Um, They got destroyed. This Giannis card is actually the best card in the game. He is uncoverable. Giannis and Magic, the only cards that I think should be able to cover him, got absolutely diced. So I don't know. All I know is that I'm 3 0 right now on Unlimited. I lost one game with him. I am currently 6-1 and one with Giannis, and I'm actually not even that good at this game. I'm decent at the game. I'm pretty good. I'm nothing like top players in the game. But you know what? 2K is all about, like, luck, and honestly, it's about luck and momentum, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, this Giannis card, since they did have, since the market did crash and all this stuff happened, Giannis literally destroyed the market. This one card destroyed the market and made everything rise that much. Everything is rising like crazy. Because, dude, I'm telling you right now, Giannis is actually that good. His He literally made everything go up so much. And if you guys really want to sell your team now or Sunday, whatever, it's not a bad time to. Um, like I said, man, it crashed hard Thursday night. It kind of rose today because everybody popped the packs and there was no MT flowing. Not only that, a ton of MT sites are down and there's not a lot of coins to spare. Like, supposedly there's so many people buying MT in this game and so many people with vc and stuff going around spamming packs and stuff and they didn't get anything and it really destroyed the market destroyed everything and there's really no mt flow in the game so you probably should sell your cards before more kids buy mt and prices drop honestly i'm thinking about selling Giannis. i don't know though he's really the best car in the game um i don't know but let's go over some things that i've been seeing you guys should probably take advantage of so first of all i want to talk about this i got zion for 80k last night thursday night he is actually already above a buyout. He is bidding for around 110k. This is the most hype beast card in the game. If they don't, if we don't see another Zion for a while, this card has so much damn value. It's just a name, bro. If you see Zion on anything that's auctionable, he has value. 
So I got him for 80k. He's already selling for 110. He'll be 130k in no time. Another thing I was looking at, I saw a Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant sell for 532k. I don't know if he's still selling that. Yeah, as you can see, his price is back up a lot. I got him for 420, 120k, not too long ago, probably like two weeks ago. His price is rising. This is actually a good sign. It looks like this prime right here is actually like something we should really pay attention to. A lot of these guys in the sets, like these people are rare. Like if you have these cards and you're not planning on doing it, I would recommend selling before any locker codes come out. Like this is probably your best chance of selling them if you have them. Like Wade, I want to sell them, but I'm doing Prime 2. I got two more cards to go for Prime 2. And a tip for you guys is honestly if you want, cash out on these cards while you can. Like straight up, this is probably your last chance. With KD going for a 500 something, you really just need to just listen to me and make sure to do this. Like straight up. That and what else? We got Colonel Lenko. I just picked him up. This guy is so damn good. I played a couple games with him. He's actually that good. So if you guys want to spend the Galaxy Able MT on him, I would recommend it. He literally, I think he probably went like 20 for 25 in the two games I played with him. He's amazing. He doesn't miss a lot of shots. He misses, makes a lot of threes. Really good at defense. Um, but yeah, right now what you should be doing is pretty much just selling your team because... I don't know, man. It's crazy how Giannis really did break the market. Like, 800,000 MT. Who's buying? Who has the money for this? Clearly, people are using my MT sponsors and getting Giannis. Like, that's what it's literally coming down to. Um, I know 2K hasn't really been banning anybody. So, looks like MT guys are really, really spamming MT. Like, people are probably, instead of dropping hundreds of dollars on VC, people are dropping hundreds of dollars on MT. And honestly, kind of making the game better and more interesting in my opinion, since this is what 2K gets for dropping all these Galaxy Opals early. They get an L because, yeah, they gave me a lot of money on VC. But then again, man, mad people bought MT and they deserve it. I honestly really think they deserve it. I, I really good for the MT sellers because I'm sick of them dropping Opals, bro. It's literally March. The game's going to be done in probably two months. They don't got that much time left. I could pretty much get myself a full Opal team. I could literally right now get myself a full Opal team. Or a full, really high 98 ping diamond team. And it's honestly destroying the game. So like I said, man, if you want to buy MT, go ahead. Don't give these bots, don't give these damn creators VC. That's literally my opinion. I know people are going to disagree, but dude, $100 for 450 VC. One guy, I was watching his video, pulled, uh, what was it? He got 450,000 VC four times, bro. That's $400. $440 with tax on Xbox. And honestly, the chances he he didn't even pull Giannis. He pulled he didn't even pull Kernelenko. He didn't pull anything. He pulled John Wall, this guy, and this guy. For four hundred and forty dollars, he probably made about I would say 300 400k. If that for four hundred and forty dollars, if you buy MT, you could probably get like two mil MT. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know, man. You could really disagree with me. I don't care. Just make sure sell your cards now. Also, if you have any questions down below. Let me know. All I know is that ah, I pulled Giannis. I'm excited and really just try sniping on the diamond filter. If you want to invest in cards, now is not the time. If you have your investments, now is the time to sell. Pretty much nothing's really good to invest in besides the new Theo Ratliff and the new Michael Ray Richardson. Because the new Michael Ray Richardson is actually a really good card. He kind of somewhat cut to my Giannis. Just kidding. He dropped like 50 on him. But <laughs> Michael Ray Richardson. I'm going to go over his uh, thing right now. He's actually a really good card. Very low key. If I can find Here we go. Michael Ray Richardson. He's like 8K. If you want to stack up on him, it's not a bad idea. He's 91 offense, 99 defense. He's actually really good. He's 6'5 point guard. He's actually really good. 99 steal, 98 defense. His offense is honestly not the best. But defensive wise, if you're going to go up against a Giannis, people are going to throw this card in his lineup for a 6'5 height. He could possibly stop him for 5,000 MT. I think he should rise to around 10k. So if you want to pick him up, that might be able to stop Giannis. Really, nothing can stop Giannis. I versed at pretty much every guard in the game at this point, and nothing has stopped him. No one is close to came to stop him. But I would really recommend stopping sniping out Michael Ray Richardson and uh the new big Z. Those are probably the cards you want to focus on for snipes, and really that's all I got. Um the market keeps rising. I would recommend selling your cards. Until another market crash comes. I'm thinking a slower week this week, no flashback. I'm thinking like a, a classic prime. A prime week and token market update. Hopefully, token market update does come. It looks like they completely ditched it, but yeah.
That's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions down below, hit me up. I'll answer. Have a good one, guys. Peace.